Hi, this is Mike from Agent Outpost, here to show you today in this video how to pull a mailing list from your public records section of your MLS. Uh, it's really pretty easy and I'll take you through it in a couple quick steps. First thing you want to do is access the public records here on Trend. It's just a little tab. Uh, you'll come into your public records area and you'll need to enter some information uh, to, to refine your search in order to tell public records exactly what it is you want. So. We're going to start with the county here, and it begins to auto-populate. I'm going to choose Burlington. Uh, same thing with the town. I'm going to choose uh, Morristown, and you'll want to click the add on each one. Morristown has only one zip code. I'm going to enter it here, add that. If things don't pop up here and auto-populate or start to find it quickly in the search, you, you've, you've mistyped something. It's really pretty simple. Uh, the sale amount, settlement date, and recording date are a little sp specific for what we're trying to do right now, so we're going to skip that. Um, we'll go up here and choose residential because what we're trying to do right now is just choose property addresses that are uh, around the transaction property address. So if you're doing a just listed, just sold, uh, you want to kind of pull the streets that are near that property and, uh, and contact those residents with uh, some important information. Uh, you'll choose residential as I said here. We're going to skip this uh, owner occupied, corporation owned, has MLS. We're going to leave that as not applicable here. It really doesn't affect our search. Uh, you can be as specific as you want. You can choose a section of the street by entering the house numbers, uh, the start. Uh, for example, you want to go from 1 to 15 Main Street. You put 1 here, 15 here, Main Street in here. We're just going to pull uh, all of Main Street here and I will show you once you start typing I've already done this so it'll auto populate uh, Main Street will pop up so we know we're looking for Main Street Burlington County Morristown 08057 each time you enter a street in here hit the count button and that'll refresh the count this way you'll see that you've actually typed the right name in the street in uh, you're pulling the, uh, the addresses that you actually think you're getting uh, if I choose for example uh, Second Avenue, which doesn't exist, and I hit the count button. You know, I may have wanted to put Second Street there. There, I put Second Avenue. You see, it didn't change. It's still 129. Uh, as you add streets, keep hitting the count button. You'll see that added five streets. And once you get done entering all your streets, and you have the the appropriate count that you're looking for. Um, you can then export the list all right, by clicking the export button. You'll choose a label because that's what you want. You can choose data if you're trying to do a little research. Um, the label will automatically format it for, uh, for your mailing list. Uh, you'll choose the property address here because the owner address, the owner address is going to give you the, the, where the owner lives. And the owner may not live at that particular address. So you may end up sending it to another state, um, even out of the country. So um, if you look at these carefully make sure you choose property address uh, you can change the owner's name here to current resident or whatever you'd like um, then you'll choose the format you want to export it in I'm going to choose Excel Excel is very user-friendly uh, you could also choose a text CSV file um, Excel is probably easier it'll open up quickly with uh, Microsoft and a lot of people have office so that's probably our best choice here and what you'll do is you'll hit create creating the list. It'll tell you your export has been submitted. It's going to take a little while for it to be available uh, depending on how many properties you've chosen, how the system's running, that sort of thing. So you'll want to go to your results, uh, click here, and it'll see it'll be the top one here. That's the latest one that I just did. Uh, as you click on it, it will open up with Excel. Uh, and I'm on a Mac and you'll see there's all your addresses ready to go. So I hope this helped you out and uh, good luck with your mailing.